Whoa, my hair's a mess. Just made it up to Murray's last night about a couple hours ago. We are now out on the lake. I think in uh, the video, we are going for some massive pike. We got some big decoy minnows and some uh, suckers. So we're gonna get some iFish Pros rigged up and uh, drop them on down there, set the flags, and hopefully we just have some flags popping. Marshall is out here today. We are with him. Uh, he's already got flags set up. So uh, it's just a waiting game now. Let's get these set up and uh, let's uh, let's get to catching. Okay, mega, mega, mega pike. That is what we are after. So let me get some rods. All right, I don't need these bibs. I literally just threw all the stuff in my sled last night in uh, hopes that I'd make it to Murray's with everything. I think I made it with everything. We will find out. I think I'm gonna run maybe one eye fish pro and then the other one's gonna be just a normal tip up. Um, let me go in here. Ah, that is it. I don't know how this ice got on there, but. The Prospector, probably not the most ideal rod for giant pike. It's more of a walleye rod. But um, it's gonna have to do for today. Definitely gonna take this 10 pound fluorocarbon off. I might just run the straight braid. We'll see if anyone else has got some heavier braid or heavier fluorocarbon for a leader line. But uh, yeah, just gonna find a big old treble hook. I'm not gonna use this little guy. Set it up and get down there. All right, well, I'm still setting up my tip-ups and my fish pro. Marshall had a flag go up. If it's something big, I will let you know, but I'm gonna finish setting my iFish Pro up. Murray's got all of his iFish Pros out. We are allowed two here in Minnesota, so one of Murray's is over here, one of Murray's is over there. Marshall's got one there, and then well, where they are right now. And me, I have one regular standard tip up, which I just got down. Just came back here to grab my Vexlar, and now it's time to set my iFish Pro over here. So let me show you guys how to, how to do this. If you guys are new to the iFish Pro game, um, honestly, I really love it. I like fighting a fish on a rod, and I'm not very good at doing a hand over hand tip-up style. I mean, I can do it, but I would way rather fight them on a rod. So let's get into that. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Ready, go. All right, so the biggest thing that I learned about setting these up is know which way the wind is blowing. You do not want your line, because you leave your bail open, you do not want your line to be blown over where the flag's gonna be popping up. So the wind is coming this way. So I want my line to be blown that way too. So I'm gonna put this off to this side. So now my line will not be in the way of my flag. I just got a standard uh, leader on here, 10 pound braid couple sinkers and then this right here this little clip is the key to the iFish Pro you need one of them it just acts as your bobber pretty much these suckers we got are pretty small I'm just gonna hook them right in the dorsal fin area kind of just barely go through there you go he's hanging okay so then I'm gonna get my Vexlar take that put that down all right, then send this down after. You wanna hold on to this red piece here, this red clip. All right, obviously I was fishing a lot shallower before. Keep dropping this. Where are we at here now? Let me let out a little more deucer. There's a lot more ice up here. There we go, okay. Still letting some line out. I'm probably gonna set it about four feet off the bottom. So then, after I kinda got it where I want it, I'm gonna put the line through that little slot, put the flag down, take this little clip right here, put it on this pin, 
take the pin and put it underneath this black piece. So now it is resting underneath that black piece and all that you need to do to activate it is the fish just needs to pull that and see how my rod is in the way so my flag didn't go all the way up. And there's line wrapped around my flag. But here, I'll get this rod out of the way and I'll show you actually without it. So once again, just put that clip right on there, fold the flag down, tuck that in there. Then all you have to do to make it go off is the fish just has to pull it, flag up. So we are set. Oh, no, 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 I gotta bring this back up now, shoot. Well, anyways, you get the gist. This is set and let's get to catch it. I don't know if Marshall caught that one. There, over there, right? Oh, yeah, he did catch one, and it is a nice one. So, huge shout-out to Marshall for taking us out here. Go check out his video. It should be pretty bomb. He already caught a nice one, so... Time will tell. Time is waiting. And then the one important thing that I forgot about the iFish Pro right at the end is really your kind of lineup until you get to your slip there and then just open your bail pull a little line out and now we are set all right let's get back over to home base yeah it's a giant minnow it's all right we got a flag set, set it. <laughs> you think set it and I send it. oh it was just peeling dude The only regular conventional tip up out here. Mary called, he's gonna get the biggest fish in this truck. I did say that. <laughs> Feels pretty minnowy. Think he dropped it? Hit and run. Hit, yeah, it must have been a hit and run. Feels a fast little bit. Dang. Hey, things are happening though. Cloudy. Not even anything. Well, that was pretty sweet. I got pumped up for a second there. Same flag, baby. Just the minnow again. No way. Yeah. It's probably just the minnow with that crappy tip up. We should put a rubber band on there. Pick it up. Let's see. No. He got hit. In the side there. Yep. That one's chewed. And swiped again. Little. Oh. He's getting it in the head. Put that hook in his nose. Right in his like that? Through the mouth? I just put it right through. Right here. Right through his nostrils. Go this way. Like sideways? Yep. Like that? Yep. Dude, it'll never come off really either there. Yeah. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah, now he's. Yeah. Now we're gonna catch. Oh, yeah, yeah no. We're gonna catch one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this one's going. This one's about it. This thing is doing things. All right, we're gonna let a little line out. Let him just take it into the rod and then set the hook. Should I really know him? Yeah, that's good. There you got it. Feels yeah, pretty little. Yeah. Look. Oh, just a little snat racket. How is that even? How is that even legal? That's what I'm saying. You got bigger minnows out than that. Like no joke. Just a little. Uh, that's a hammer handle definition. Right back down he goes. Pull up the sleeve. Get one of these nice little guys. Oh, almost lost them. Yeah, little guys. Some little babies. Back to the track. All right, and we're set up. Let's get this bad chat back down there. All right, that's set back up. Let's go back to the truck and wait. Oh, fell right off my line. But just a nice bluegill, respectable bluegill. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs>
hove right on. Just reeled up one of my tip ups. Action has been slow, so we figured we might as well jig around a little bit. Definitely gonna put that flag back up when the uh, sun starts going down a little bit more, but for right now, we're just gonna sit on the back of the truck and jig. Hopefully we'll catch a few. Oh, she's ripping. I just saw your rod bop. Turn on. It's looking good. Not looking bad. It's really not. Decent. Lines to the side. It's just. Oh yeah, I'm glad. What's your thoughts? Fifteen pounder. Fifteen pounder. Yep. Your thoughts? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Yep. Way to shoot for the stars. <laughs> Oh, this is a hog. Oh, guys, you guys just missed out. I just turned the GoPro off. We walked off the lake and Murray just went in. We lost a tip up on the way out. That sucks. My knee is so Oh, I bet. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're already wet. Oh. <laughs> Straight swamp water, huh? Oh, I haven't even worn those bibs yet, and they're freaking, they're freaking. <laughs> All right. What to do? Five in the morning, and I got my mind on loop. I never sleep because they smoke up in the Bugatti. I woke up in the coop. It's a G. 35 gin and juice where I woke up feeling like Snoop.